Uh, our, our slogan is American Tools for Woods. We make everything in the United States where we collaborate with other American made uh, tool companies uh, like LT Wright or Bottle Breacher. Um, but this right here is uh, is the Logox 31 Forestry Multi Tool. And this holster here, I'll show you real quick. So the initial invention of the log ox was essentially so we wouldn't have to bend over, pick up logs, put it on our simulated splitter right here. What this allows me to do is just bend slightly at the knees, engage the log around like this, swim the bottom of my splitter, and then I can put on this holster, which we custom designed, uh, to be able to hold it while we're operating our log splitter. And I can grab it with a, a tiny little, little split piece like this. To a 120 pound block of wood like that. That, that was important. Or if I have a log that's too large for me really to pick up, I can drag it, just hook into the side of it, drag it over to my vertical splitter, prop it upright, and I can vertically split it. Um, so, you guys work with a chainsaw at all? Any kind of limited? A little bit of working with chainsaws? So, one of the things you're working with a chainsaw you want to avoid, you want to avoid getting your bar pinched. So, when you work, get your way halfway through a tree, it has a tendency to kind of point it up on it and pinch your bar. If anybody who's ever done that knows. Um, and then you got to get some wedges and try to get it out. It's a real pain. Or you can get all the way through and then you strike the ground, you know, and unfortunately what's going to do is you fell on your chain and you spend the rest of the afternoon sharpening yeah. your chain. So those are kind of the two things that also kick back. You don't want to have that kick back at you. So the way to avoid that that we found in, in what we added to this design to make this even more useful is we added what we call, uh, what's called a can hook, or a can hook extension. So this is about 30 inch long can hook. Clemens pin goes through here, locks it in place. And so in order to avoid what I just described, make it cuts three quarters of the way through the log, drop this onto it, roll it over, or push it away from you like you see that gentleman doing right there, and then cut the back sides of it. You see the other side just exactly you cut the back sides of it. And then you know, then you're not gonna have any of those issues. As you work your way up to the top of the log, uh, top of the tree, rather. Your log is going to taper out, so it's going to become smaller in diameter. So what we do is we add this to it. Again, two, just two simple standard clevis pins. What that's going to form? We call it timber jack. Now these, this, along with a can hook, has been you know in the industry the timber industry for about 160 years. What we did was we took all three, we put them together into this. Drop it over a lot. We spotted this, that's about 12 inches or so in diameter. It'll come up off the ground. Anything larger than that, just use your hand and over. But now that this is off the ground, I've got a solid, start, a sturdy cutting platform. I'm able to make my cuts all the way down the tree using gravity. It's just going to fall right off. I'm not worried about running into the ground. I'm standing like this, as opposed to further down. Get to here, making my cuts halfway through, halfway through. Dump it out. Close to the back side of it. I just finish up my cuts like I did with the uh, with the camera. And to finish it off, what I'll do is I'll buck up everything all at once, get that done. And then what I'm able to do, I've got a whole field full of these bucked up log rounds. Just drop it on like this, get over to wherever I'm going, chuck it out. I'm good to go, I can go back and grab it. Uh, we recently commissioned a study with uh, Deerfield University's engineering department. We asked them to go through and figure out, hey, what exactly is the ergonomics of this? What, what kind of benefit are we getting from this? And we asked them to take a, what we call a bio package. It's electrodes that hook up to your back and up to your arms. It measures the electrical output that your muscles create. And so they they went and tried picking up a log round like this, which is actually the proper method of picking something up, bending at your knees, as opposed to what most of us usually do. And also picking it up like this, and moving on to a standard 30 inch platform, what they found was that it reduces energy output by 30, I'm sorry, by 53% in your lower back and 70% in your arms, um, which backs up for over 300 customer reviews and says exactly the same thing. Saves your back, saves your time, uh, saves a lot of energy expended. That's basically the, the log acts in a nutshell. I hand it back to you guys, but um, anybody have any questions about it? We sell some additional accessories. We sell the holster, obviously. We, uh, we added the, uh, the pickaroon uh, to this, so we have what we call this the pick ox, it turns into a pickaroon. And what that's useful for is if you've got some split pieces, you'll harden the slick floor. If you've got some split pieces, you can grab them like that, uh, or reach for the back of a truck bed, pull those towards you, be able to get those out without climbing actually into the truck bed itself. Uh, also, if you've got any kind of wood processor, somewhere you want to stick your hands, you can knock that in there and reach it and get it out as well. 
Um, and then, of course, we also have the bag that we sell where we throw everything inside a bag like this. Yeah, everything inside a bag like this. Chainsaw chest. My little, my little uh, uh, PSA here is if you don't have chainsaw chest, I highly recommend getting some. Uh, he's got a couple of destroyed ones to remind him of uh, all the burning chaps. But anyway, you put that on top of everything, zip it up. And we made these straps long enough that you wear them in a backpack. And now you get your chainsaw in one hand and then you need to process that tree on your back. Uh, and clear it out in the woods. Wherever you're going, you gotta win. Awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Uh, awesome. The logox, the logox.com. Learn more about it. He's got some maps, got some more stuff back in the house to show you. you guys get on with your tour. But I appreciate you stopping by and seeing the, the show. We're selling this here at the show. Like I said, yeah, 165 here at the show. Yeah, it's $10 off. Okay, wait a minute. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. We'll be here all day. You sold it. All right. Yeah, right I think we're here. Yeah, we'll, we'll be here until close to. Yeah, we're not going anywhere until five. Yeah, we may let class out early. I don't know. Uh, we should be here until five. So. All right, yeah.